everyone, this is Shivangi. Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I will be creating this look. This is my version of a smoky brown eye makeup look. And trust me when I say this, this is a super simple look. Anybody can do it and it looks beautiful on all skin tones. All the products which I'll be using in this tutorial, the links for all those products will be in the description box below. So definitely check it out. There's some timestamps as well. I'll tell you about the timestamps in the tutorial. Also, I just wanted to mention this in the beginning of the video. We are planning a giveaway and we will post all the details about it very soon in the community section of our channel and on our Instagram handles as well. So ensure that you subscribe to our channels and you're following us on instagram too i'll let you know all the details once you know everything is all sorted so just keep an eye out for the community post and our stories and that's it now without wasting any more time let's begin all right guys let's begin so i'm letting you know in advance that i've got like a horrible pain on my right shoulder so if you see me moving or you know moving my hand in an awkward way then please excuse me for that i've taken a medicine i think i slept wrong or something and i've got a major muscle pull i do have a lot of pain guys so <laughs> just ignore if i move awkwardly it might be funny but please ignore that okay all right now let's begin with the primer I'll use Smashbox Primerizer. Also, I forgot to mention, I put a timestamp in the description box for the eyeshadow tutorial. So if you want to skip through the base, you can just click on that timestamp and straight watch the eyeshadow tutorial. A lot of you who watch my videos regularly know that my process of doing any base is almost the same every time. So if you want to skip through this, you can do that. For concealer, I'll use L'Oreal Infallible Concealer in the shade 312 Amber. Now with a pack 219 concealer brush, I'll start blending it. And for fuller coverage, I always dab the concealer under my eyes and I don't, you know, drag the brush. You know, I'm trying to move my neck like this. I'm not able to do it. It's just so weird, man. Muscle pulls are the worst. So I've covered all the darker areas and the areas where I've got a bit of redness on my skin with the concealer. Now, next, we'll get to the foundation. I'll use Lakme 9 to 5 Primer Plus Matte Foundation. I'm in the shade N220 Neutral Medium. I'm just going to blend it nicely with a beauty blender. This is the original beauty blender which I bought from Sephora. It's available on Sephora's website. Next, I'm going to use Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade Light. And with this powder, I'm going to set the area around my eyes. Next, to set the rest of my base, I'll use Lakme Natural Finishing Powder. So this one does give a dewy finish to your base. That's why we use two different powders. And it is not the best powder to apply directly under your eyes. It is always better that you set that area with a matte powder, which doesn't have a sheen basically. Next for my eyebrows, I'll use NYX Micro Brow Pencil. And as always, I'm going to brush them downwards first. Mm -hmm. 
then I draw out the subo shape then I brush them upwards and fill out the rest of the gaps all right both my eyebrows are filled out now we'll get to the eyeshadow for eyeshadow today I'm using makeup revolution flawless 4 palette so this is how the palette looks like guys I recommend this a lot it's a great beginners palette you've got some really nice neutral shades and plus you know you've got some really nice shimmers as well all in this one palette this is one of my favorite palettes from makeup revolution before I start the application of the eyeshadow I'm going to create an eyeliner on my eyelid and for that I am using the sugar eye pencil it's called Coal of Honor and it's in the shade Brown Bag. I'm not creating a wing liner, I'm just creating a line really close to my lash line. Just like this. Next, I'm first going to take this black shade from the palette and with a fluffy brush, I'm going to pick a little bit of pigment, really dust the brush and start applying it very lightly on my eyelid. You gotta blend this color as much as possible. That's it. We are not going to take more color. This is good enough. Next, I'm going to dig into this brown shade on the palette. And with the same brush, I'll start applying it on top of the black that we applied. Now, I know this is a really fluffy brush and it's difficult to reach like the innermost corner of the eyelid with this. So for the innermost corner, I'm taking an eyeshadow brush and blending the color with this brush. This is actually a generic brush. It doesn't have a label. It's a very old brush. So I don't really remember from where this is. Alright, so once we pack this color on the eyelid, I'm going to take a brush which is slightly smaller. This is Pack 229 brush. And with this brush, I'm going to take this shade from the palette and I will apply it on my crease. Whenever you're picking the color, always dust the brush guys. Do not straight put it on your eyelid because it can become patchy if you do that. It's always better to slowly build the colors on your eyelids. And I'm also doing these little circular motions to blend it properly on the crease I also did not take the shade too many times I did not build it much I only dipped my brush twice in the palette and then just diffused it Alright, so this is where we are right now. Lastly, I'm going to take Pro Art PE23 brush. With this brush, I'm going to dig into this shade on the palette. And I'm going to apply it on my crease again. I'm using a very light hand to do this, guys. Lastly, I've just taken a clean fluffy brush and I'm just running it through my crease one more time to clean this up. And that's it actually, this eyelid is complete. Alright, so once both my eyelids are complete, we'll get to the lower lash line. I'm straight going to dig into this brown shade which we packed on the eyelid and I'm going to apply it halfway through my lower lash line. Also, when you're doing your lower lash line, it should connect to the outer corner of your eyelid. Like, the outer corner shouldn't be somewhere here and lower lash line cannot go like this. <laughs> this should be one line. So, it's always better to, you know, kind of keep your brush and flick it outwards like this.
Next, I'm taking the same sugar pencil which we applied as an eyeliner on our eyelids and I'm going to apply it on my waterline. This is actually the first time I'm trying this pencil and it's pretty nice. There's one small thing also which I'm doing on my lower lash line with this Kajal pencil only. I'm applying a little bit on my lashes, basically very close to my lower lash line. Just a little bit, not too much. It just kind of intensifies the lower lash line, so that's why I did it. And I'm also blending it with a brush. Also, for this area where we did not apply any pigment, like the inner corner of your lower lash line, just take the same brush and just run it through that area so that there is a hint of brown on that area as well. It's always better to keep this area softer and this area darker because if you make the whole thing dark, it can look a little scary. And that's it actually. With that final step, the eyeshadow is complete. I am going to wear falsies but before that, I'm going to apply a bit of mascara. For that, I'm using NYX Worth the Hype Mascara. Alright, so I just wanted to tell you this is the kind of look which you can very well wear without falsies as well. I am somebody who does wear falsies even in my personal life like for special occasions and I just really like wearing false lashes so that's why I wear them. But if you're not somebody who is comfortable with false lashes then you can totally skip it. It's always optional. You just apply heavy mascara and you'll be good to go. I'm going to wear false lashes off camera, but I wanted to show them to you. These are Rufa Beauty Nora lashes. And I'm back after wearing falsies, guys. Now we have a lot of stuff which is left to do. Firstly, I actually forgot to contour my face today. So I'll start with that. I'm using Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. So I'll just do light contouring on my jawline and near my cheekbones. Once I'm done contouring my face, I'm going to take a little bit of this Lakme powder and just clean up this area. Moving on to blush, I'm using MAC Cosmetics Gingerly Blush. And again, I'm only applying the blush just on this area. I'm not going to take the brush all the way through. Now we'll get to the highlighter but first I'll highlight the inner corners of my eyes and my brow bone and for that I'm using Ofra highlighter in the shade Bali. So this is a pack 201 brush. I will very lightly highlight the inner corners first. And after highlighting these corners, I'll highlight all the high points of my face. This one is actually a peachish gold highlighter. I really like Ofra highlighters as well. They're very nice. And for my lips, I'll use MAC Retro Matte Lip Color in the shade Spice Burnt. And lastly, to set everything in place, I'll use NYX Dewy Finish Makeup Fixer. I'm gonna let this dry up, get ready and then come back. So that's it guys, this is the final look. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this tutorial. It is pretty simple to create, right? My shoulder is also feeling a little better because I did take a five minute break in the middle and I actually took a medication. It had started hurting a lot midway. So I'm feeling a lot better now. Hopefully by tomorrow it will be all sorted because I am going to record another tutorial tomorrow. Let me know in the comment section below how you like this look guys. And if you do recreate 
creator don't forget to tag me on instagram it is almost the end of the month but i am thinking that i might just continue the festive series the wedding season is coming up and then there is diwali there's karwa chauth there are a lot of festivals coming up next month as well and occasions as well of course let me know what you think about this idea guys i know that you would love to see some modern looks as well but i'm contemplating you know so let me know it will be of great help and guys if you're not following me on instagram then ensure that you do i keep posting video updates and makeup related content on my instagram handle as well you'll find all the links in the pinned comment of the comment section below <laughs> lastly if you haven't subscribed to our channels already then please subscribe to our channels we've got three channels hindi english and bengali we are creating this uh, nice and happy and positive ecosystem here on youtube and your support would mean the world to us guys so please subscribe if you haven't already That's it from me for today. I shall see you in the next one guys. Stay safe and take care of yourself. Bye bye. Mwah.